Hey, Jordan, it's now the Mar Army Rock Show. We have a band called In the Isles. Uh, Carson from the band is here joining us. They have an album now called The Monday EP. Carson, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hey, so um, I'm a little bit new to your band, and I've been listening to you on the Internet. We've been talking a little bit online. So give our listeners a little bit of the history of the band. It looks like you've been around since around 2012 or so. Give us a kind of a history of the band. Well, um, Scott and I, um, we've jammed together on and off for about 10, 10 plus years in uh, di- different bands here and there. I've moved away. He's, I've come back, and we've always stayed connected. And then uh, we just got together this last time. It was like we, I had a group of songs, and he had a group of songs, and we were like, all right, well, let's let's get together and do this. And then, you know, we were just jamming around and having fun, and things started like really sounding good. So we were like, all right, well, let's let's try and get a band going. And we, you know, we looked for a drummer, found Charlie, and been going ever since. So you've got a current EP out called The Monday EP, but I know you're working on a full-length album, so give us a little bit of the timeline of how things are going for the album. Well, um, we're struggling for musicians like all the others out there. Uh, we're doing a full, full-length full uh, 13 songs. We're going to give you your money's worth. Um, right now we have the guitars all tracked. And we're doing the guitar overdubs, and we're getting ready to uh, put the bass on there. Um, sometime soon, we're recording with Daz FM. You can find him online out of the city. And uh, timeline, we're hoping before it starts snowing. <laughs> now, in your part of the world, here in Chicago, man, when is that? And that could be that could be July up there, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, true. It could start snowing tomorrow. Yeah, it was 92 today, and tomorrow will be 56. Yeah. No, uh, hopefully before, let's say, October-ish, you know, November, around there. We'll definitely be looking forward to it, man, So and, look, and looking forward to that for sure. Now, tell us, you, you mentioned a little bit about where you're recording the, uh, the album. Is this the same place that you recorded the Monday EP? To, and, and tell us about the production of the album. Who's doing the producing? Um, no, it's not the same place. Uh, we had our friend Troy from uh, uh, the Nashville area do the recording on the EP. Um, we just sent him tracks through Dropbox, and and uh, he pretty much polished the turd, and that's what you hear now on the EP. And uh, and then for this one, uh, we decided, you know, because we're doing the, the full album, that we were just going to go ahead and and go to, like, a real studio. So um, that's pretty much what we're doing there as far as producing. I mean, the band's pr- pretty much producing it. Now, as I'm getting to know your music here, three-piece band, and, and I always try to pick out, like, and I'm never very good at it, but, like, when you're doing your songwriting, where does the beginning start with? Do you start with riffs? Do you start with lyrics? Do you start with rhythms? Like, what's the basis of your songs when you finally start writing one? Um, well, in this band, um, Scott or myself will come to the table with a, uh, with, like, a guitar riff or something, and then, you know, we'll just start jamming around. Like, it's like cooking or building a house, you know, you throw in some seasonings here, you throw some mortar in there, you know what I mean? And next thing you know, you got a song. And that's pretty much how we do things. Now, you guys have, like, uh, when I, immediately when I, I put you guys on, I got, like, a real kind of almost grungy, James Addiction, Smashing Pumpkins kind of feel to you guys, and uh, which is a cool thing, because there aren't a ton of bands doing that right now. Are you a bit of a standout up there in Chicago with that style? Uh, totally, yeah. I mean, uh, Scott's favorite band is the Deftones. Um, my favorite band is the Pumpkins slash the Beatles. Um, Charlie, you know, he gives us that little rock influence. His favorite bands are bands like uh, Van Halen, uh, um, things like that, you know, the old 70s rock stuff. But, yeah, I mean, wow, that's a pretty good compliment. Thank you. 
Hey, uh, when I was listening to your reverb page, there was a couple acoustic tunes on there. Now, do you do much acoustic stuff? Um, yeah. Um, Charlie um, had to take a little break for a minute, and while he was doing that, you know, we were trying to keep the band afloat, so Scott and I were just going out doing a little acoustic shows. Uh, we're actually doing one tonight for our friend Adam at the Citizens Bar in Erie on Chicago. Uh, it's a workshop, a band, if anyone's in the area, Milwaukee, anything listening, uh, come on down. The more bands, the merrier. It happens every Wednesday, uh, and he just likes to get together and have all these bands meet at the bar and just network. I was going to ask stuff. you, I saw that you were doing that tonight, so tell me a little bit more. So what ha- I, I, I think I've been to one similar to that in Baltimore, but like, kind of what goes on in the workshop? Are you guys playing, or are you just talking and networking? Uh, it's, it's both talking, networking, like, you know, band will come in and uh, do a little acoustic set like we're going to do tonight, um, and that's pretty much it, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a great place for bands just to meet on a neutral field where no one's playing, you know what I mean, and and just say, hey, who are you? This is who I am, you know, and, oh, cool, oh, yeah, 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 and next thing you know, you got a little coalition going, you know. Yeah, that's a cool thing, and it's kind of funny you say that because I know that here in the Mid-Atlantic region, and, and I'll be honest, so I tell you, I kind of like it this way, rock and roll's gone a little bit underground again like it was when I first really got into it, you know, in the in the late 70s. And, and that happened in Chicago. It's like you're seeing a little bit underground again. Um, yeah, and no, I mean, like, we have a very good rock, uh, metal, slash indie, you know, just anything with guitars and distortion, you know what I mean? Anything in that oh, yeah. Spectrum. We have a really good band, like, variety of bands out here, you know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, it is kind of underground for, like, the mainstream stuff, but, like, here in the city, I mean, like, you can catch a great rock band 24-7, just walk into any bar. Yeah, you guys have such a great history of music. I had the pleasure of uh, going to uh, see Aria Speedwagon and Ted Nugent up there. There's a nice stadium you have out there right by Soldier Field. I don't know the name of it, but you can see Soldier Field from it. And uh, you guys get a great music scene up there. Yeah, definitely. We are uh, spoiled, you know. Like, we do have a great playground to play in here in the Chicago land area. Many great places to play. Yeah. So, um, uh, other other than money, because I know that one, what's been the biggest challenge in getting the new CD produced? Honestly, just the the big M word and uh, time. <laughs> yeah, time time's a tough one for that. Um, the, the, has it been just because you know you, you it, was it been getting all of you together at the same place at the same time, or is it just just the general rigors of the music industry? Um, for us, what we have going on is, you know, uh, we, we book studio time, you know, eight hours here, eight hours there, and we're just basically booking the money that we have, you know what I mean? So if we have the cash to go in this weekend, then awesome, you know, we can get eight hours work done, you know, and that's pretty much how we're doing it. No, I know you're doing a music workshop tonight, but do you get a chance to go out to shows? Like, who do you like to go see live if you do get to go to shows? Oh, there's a lot of great bands. Uh, I like, see, I like different bands that, uh, than like, the other guys like in the band, but my personal favorite, uh, Chicago bands right now are, uh, End Transmission. Um, I really like the little snippets I've been hearing of what they're doing. Uh, I love Como Soft. Um, they're they're a great band. Um, some of the heavier ones, uh, Driven Under. Um, and then there's also, like, if you like a band that uh, has, like, uh, I describe them as, like, the Lips Meet Fugazi, you know, check out the band Aria 51. They rock. Um, great Friends, Greywall and 13 Monsters. Um, 
I can just keep going on and on and on. <laughs> yeah, that's a great list, man. And, uh, you know, I've had, I, I really, we don't get out to the Midwest a ton, but when I've been in your city, man, it's been a great place to see uh, rock music. Hey, I saw an interesting post from you guys. I saw you like to grill at your practice. So, like, what's on the grill food-wise? What are you guys cooking up at practice? Well, you know, like, Sky and I, we work third shift. Ish, you know, and we pick up specimens from the hospital. So um, <laughs> when we when we practice and stuff, you know, uh, we uh, we just you know it's like dinner time, so everyone just gets together and whoever's bringing what, you know, and we just get together and grill. It's a great way to you know to connect and bond and all that little fun band stuff. Well, uh, Carson, man, it's been a good time talking to you. The band is called Indie Isles. They are from Chicago area, and they've got a, the Monday EP is out right now. And if you stay tuned, they are working on brand new music. And uh, hey, Carson, thanks so much for being with us on the Marmy Rock Show this evening. No, dude, thank you for having us. Appreciate it, man. Anytime. <laughs>